Hello, what's up? Ali here, providing you the latest updates for the latest jailbreak for the PS4. But to set our expectation, the newest jailbreak that supports up to 11.0 is not yet a full working jailbreak. On this video, we are going to share the latest status of the jailbreak, coverage, and also answer most of the frequently asked questions. But at the end of the video, we will still show you how we can use or activate the newest jailbreak if you want to test it for yourself. And we'll also cover some of the issues that you may encounter. So let us start with the question, what are the current firmware supported? Well, every firmware from 9.0 to 11.0 are covered on this new jailbreak. But then again, we'll, uh, we still need a working gold hen. Developments are already there. So we'll still have uh, to wait until uh, Sistro um, released a full working gold hen. Until that time, uh, um, this uh, jailbreak is still relevant. So what are the requirements? Um, for now, uh, we need a um, PC or a rooted phone. So if we are going to use a PC, our PC needs to be connected on the PS4 using a uh, Ethernet cable. We also need uh, to download and install some applications uh, before we can run uh, the application to run the jailbreak. On this video, we are going to show you the simplest way to run uh, the jailbreak yourself. But uh, if you're going to ask if we have to go through all this trouble every time we have to activate the jailbreak, yes, we have to go through all this trouble. Like the previous jailbreak, uh, Every time we need uh, to use the PS4, we have to activate the jailbreak first. Will there be any changes for this in the future? Yes, definitely. But uh, when will it come? That is uh, the big question. We'll, we, uh, we can only wait for that to happen. For now, every time we have uh, to jailbreak our PS4, we have to go through the whole process. So what about if I am on 11.0 or higher? Unfortunately, the newest jailbreak stop at 11.0. So for those who are on 11.02 to higher, it is uh, another waiting game. But are we going to wait for another two and a half years? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I do believe that uh, this is just a start uh, of uh, more great things to happen uh, on the PS4 jailbreak scene. But don't take my word for it. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. So what about if uh, you are between 9.01 to 11.0? So do we have or uh, do I need to update my PS4 to 11.0? Well, since the jailbreak is not yet fully working, it is still irrelevant. And since the newest jailbreak supports every firmware from 9.0 to 11.0, the lower firmware, the better. Now, is it worth uh, the effort to try the new jailbreak? Well, uh, to be honest, no. Since it requires a lot of application, the stability is very low. The kernel panic is very high. So this is just for those who want to try or to prepare themselves for the um, for the headaches that they may have when activating the jailbreak. But personally, I would recommend to just wait for further developments. Since we do get developments on a daily basis, we have already um, waited for two and a half years for the new jailbreak. So what's another few more days or weeks? But if you are in a rush to try this uh, to try this new jailbreak, then let us go ahead and show you how we can use the newest jailbreak for our PS4. On the PC, we have to download the PPPWN Goa. You will find the link on our description. So just open the link, click on this part, and download zip. Next, we have to download and install NPCAP. So again, the link is on our description. Open the link and scroll down a little. Click on this part to download this application. Let us start with installing the NP cap. So just double click on the file. And since I have already installed this one, I can just go ahead and click on no. But the installation process is pretty straightforward. Next, we'll have to extract the PPPW and go. Inside the extracted folder, open the python folder then we have to install these two applications the number two and the number three item so just double click on the file you should see this just press any key to continue now for this copy you should also see this and just have press any key to continue next we have to download and install the latest python again you will find the link on our description just open the link and click on this part to download the file 
I have already installed Python, but I will add install this to show you how we can properly install this application. Because most of the errors that we get when running the new jailbreak comes from a uh, improper installation of Python. So first, I will go ahead and uninstall my Python. Now let us go ahead uh, and install Python. So just double click on the application. Check on the two options below. Choose customize installation. Make sure everything is checked. Click on next and make sure the second, third, fourth and fifth option are checked. Then click on install. After installing the Python, let us go ahead and prepare our PS4. On the PS4, make sure it is directly connected to your PC using an Ethernet port. Then go to the network settings. Set up internet connection. Use a LAN cable. Use custom. Choose PPPOE. Use a random user and password, then click on next. Use automatic, automatic, do not use. Then from here, you can just click back. Now let us go back on the PC and prepare the application. On the PC, let us go ahead and open the and Go folder. Now we have to prepare our payload first before we can run the application. From here, open the PS4 Gold Hand. Choose your firmware. Since I'm using 9.0, I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Let's go ahead and use a 2.3. Now, this payload.bin, we have to transfer this on a USB or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. For this, we are going to use our external hard drive formatted with XFAT. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, drag and drop this on the root of the hard drive. Now let us go ahead and plug this external hard drive to our PS4. To minimize errors, make sure the PS4 can properly detect the hard drive. So what I do is I go to the capture gallery, choose any item, and make sure that we can copy or transfer this to the storage device. So if you see this error message, that means that the PS4 could not properly detect the hard drive. Now, if you can transfer anything to your hard drive, that means that you don't have any issues accessing the hard drive. Now, let us go back to the network settings. On the PC, let us go back to the PTPWN Go folder. Open this application. And here on the drop down menu, choose your firmware. Since I am using 9.0, I will choose 9.0 here. But the process and stability are the same on all versions. Now, once everything's all set, click on Go. And on your PS4, click on Test Internet Connection. The application may have or may encounter any errors uh, within the whole process. Like we have mentioned, the stability is still very low. Once you get stuck for more than 10 seconds, close the application. Click on Go again. And on the PS4, hit on Back. And retest the internet connection. All you can do here is just make sure everything is uh, all set and you have prepared uh, the USB. You have installed every application and just wish for the application to be successful. Well, fortunately, I think we have uh, successfully uh, run the application on our fourth try. You will notice that uh, my games uh, are now available. And to be honest, 
I cannot consider myself lucky to have a successful attempt on my fifth try. But like we have mentioned earlier, this whole Gelberg is still on the testing period. We still have to wait for a properly working gold hen. Until then, I can definitely recommend to just wait for further developments. So this will be it for now. If you still have any further questions or concerns, you can just go ahead and leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.